everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and if you can't tell by what I'm wearing, today we're going to be talking about Ghostbusters costumes, props, heck, just Ghostbusters cosplay in general. As we're going to be taking a look at a handful of new items available from Stance Industries over on Etsy. And for those that may not know, Stance Industries it is ran by prop builder Rhett J. Martin. And Martin, he has been a busy guy over the past year or so. This has included making all the props seen in ESPN Plus's Halloween special last year that starred Eli and Peyton Manning, as well as Jerome Bettis. He was also commissioned by the developers of Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, suiting them up in time for the game's launch. And recently here on the channel, we've been taking a look at a couple of Martin's creations. This has included a smoking ghost trap, as well ecto goggles. The very same ecto goggles that I'm wearing on my head right here. Now let's go ahead and start off this video with the prop item that I am most excited for. This is a stunt belt gizmo. And these are made to replicate what was primarily used in the LA filming of the original Ghostbusters. You see, for those that may not be aware, the original belt gizmos, the Sanyo calculator boards, they were primarily used in the New York filming. However, when they shifted production from New York over to LA, some of those items, well, they got damaged. So they pretty much made these stunt belt gizmos. Now, Rhett, he has made four different variations available, with the one we're taking a look at today being Ray Stance. And where these vary mainly from one Ghostbuster to the next is that kind of metallic design pattern that has been painted on. Each are unique, and they've been made to resemble very closely to what is seen in the film. Now, the main circuit itself, it has been cast in a urethane foam rubber and has been painted in flex paint. And yes, you heard rubber, you heard flex, meaning that this gizmo, it's got a bit of bend to it. And I love that because, uh, well, this is not my first belt gizmo. In fact, my last, I paid a lot of money for it and uh, I had it stationed at the front of my belt and I bent over one day and um, yeah, it snapped. So having this made of rubber, meaning it's, it's not gonna snap on me, this is perfect. The Nixies up top, they are made of an acrylic tube, and taking a look at this, I gotta admit, yeah, it, it looks pretty rough in hand. But again, that is the design made to replicate the stunt belt gizmos used in filming. Now attached to that main circuit, we do have a daughter board, and that's attached by this coiled cable. And that cable, it has been screwed into the back of that main board, so it's not going anywhere. And the daughter board, it has been made to replicate one that was seen on a stunt belt that recently went up for auction. And then turning it around on the back here, you will find a metal belt clip. I know you saw this a little earlier, but I just want to mention here, it also does include a laser cut leather holster, and it's just held right in place through the use of some Velcro. It's got the secure connection points, the belt clip finish, and this is exactly how you're going to receive yours, meaning right out of the box, put it on your military belt, and you've got a brand new gadget added to your Ghostbusters arsenal. Up next, we've got another must-have, much-needed Ghostbusters belt accessory, this being the trap holster. Well, actually, let me be a little bit more precise, as this is a heavy-duty trap holster made to replicate what is seen in Ghostbusters 2. Turning it around the base here, it is made of laser-cut aluminum. It then got the addition of leather, pop rivets, dot snaps, and of course, a V-hook. And if you already happen to have a ghost trap that may not have necessarily the same style of V-hook, you may have like a Dixie bracket or something like that, well, good news, as a female clip, it is also included. So you would easily be able to swap yours out and connect it to this holster without any headache. I am certainly going to attach a ghost trap to it right here in a second, but first, we've got one more item, well, I guess actually four more items to take a look at, and that is these screen-accurate key fobs. These fobs here, they are described as the very best on the market. They use real leather, accurate steel parts, and heavy-duty dot snaps. They're perfect for the new pistol belts that are made by Magnoli, or really any belt that you're going to find at your local surplus army store. Seriously, these are great. The leather, it is so thick, and they just, they feel so high quality in hand. In fact, I, I can't wait anymore. Let's go ahead and attach everything to my belt. Okay, so we got the belt gizmo there, we got all four key fobs and that trap holster. And I gotta say, just with these items, it looks like a pretty full belt. Is there more I'm gonna add? Totally, and you're gonna see that here in a second. But I love the fact that you can pretty much get suited up just by one seller. It makes it so convenient. And speaking of that seller, again, Rhett J. Martin, Stance Industries. You may recall that last year, I took a look at a stunt ghost trap made by him. It was one of the traps that was used in that Eli and Peyton Manning Halloween special. 
it has lights, and it also even smokes, which is arguably its coolest feature. But I am told it should fit this holster no problem, and actually here it is right here. So let's go ahead and see if it connects in there, and yeah, there we go. Just go ahead and attach the strap here, and yeah, ghost trap, it is secure, it is connected. But as I just promised, yeah, I want to add a few more things here. All right, now we're talking, and I gotta admit, I may have to tighten this belt up just a little bit. We got a pair of Ghostbusters Ecto goggles hanging here. This is another item I took a look at previously here on the channel. Also, while not accurate to some of the items here already on the belt, I did add the Lifeguard 2 from Ghostbusters 2, as well an MT500 radio that's in a holster that I just made myself. Overall, I am so happy with these new items, and I really feel that it takes this belt to that next level. And if you'd like to take your Ghostbusters costume, your Ghostbusters cosplay to that next level, again, be sure to check out Stance Industries over on Etsy. We've got that direct shop link and it is down below in this video's description. And with that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below. And we'll see you right back here next time. <laughs>